I saw a very difficult play for Evan Bush a little less than a month ago. It was at the end of August in the Toronto-Montreal game, and uh, I wanted to shed some light on this just to show how difficult goalkeeping can be sometimes. Um, so the cross comes in. This is kind of the first part of it. The cross comes in, and I think Bush actually does a very good job on the play. Uh, it's a very difficult cross just from the angle. Typically, you know, that 45-degree that angle coming in, that's a tough cross to deal with for a number of reasons. The height of it makes it difficult. Running into the defender is a possibility, that, or, or if not the striker coming on. Uh, if the ball is left, as in Bush doesn't go for the cross, maybe that falls out the door, and maybe the defender throws it out. But, you know, that's, that's a very difficult ball. Does Bush really want to gamble, hang on his line there? So he ends up going for the punch. Uh, it covers a lot of distance coming forward. I like that a lot. You don't see that a lot from a lot of modern goalkeepers. So I thought that was a, was a, big, uh, a big positive for Bush there. I think we could squabble a little bit on the direction of the punch. He puts it straight down the middle. I like that he gets some height on it. Um, we don't want to hit that straight down to the ground. But, yes, I, I think he could push that out for, for the sideline. But considering the cross and the angle and how Bush has to come to the ball, it's difficult to hit that. You don't want to hit that back towards the striker, but also hitting it over his right shoulder. Very difficult. So th this is a very difficult play for a number of reasons. So that's kind of the first stage of it. Um, he gets up quickly off the cross and he's ready for the shot. The first defender gets magged, and that's going to happen sometimes, especially when the defender's that close. Personally, I don't love it, but it's something you kind of live with. Um, the defender, in, in this case, gets a little more leeway because he doesn't know if Bush is back on his feet and he really needs to stop any shot and goal. Um, so I'll give him a little more leeway on that. The second defender really kind of sinks the ship for everyone here. Uh, you can see how high Bush is. He's around the 9, 10 yard mark there. Trying to get set for the shot. He sees it the entire way. He's in a really good position to make the save. But the defender, the second defender here, ends up getting in Bush's way. So the the first defender's make. The second defender has a wonderful opportunity to just clear this out, at least get a foot on it. And I can't tell if he nicks it or not. Uh, either way, he ends up freezing Bush on the play. Bush is screened visually as, as he's going towards the save. At the last second, he can't see the ball because his defender is in the way. And whether he hits it or not, it, it really alters the play for Bush. And He's in a tough spot here, bushes because he's so high up, and this really changes a lot of dynamics for for the defenders and in, in reading off the play. If Bush was back on his line, he'll he'll probably make this save either way. But uh, the defender with the second meg there ends up screening Bush and ends up slipping for a goal. And there's this kind of unfortunately hilarious interaction between the two as the defender looks at Bush and Bush is like, "Why did you do that?" And the defender is kind of like, "Oh, that's unlucky." Um, and now the, the pie is not on the defender's face, but on the keeper's face. Unfortunately, he's made this big play. It's a nice punch. He, he's taking care of it. But the ball subs by, and, and Bush is kind of the one looking like the dummy here. But the reality is they, he had two defenders in front of him. Both had chances to clear the ball. Both had chances to take care of the shot. But they both get made down the play, and the ball trickles in on goal because of it.